Hello, hello, hello. Excuse the lighting. I'm in a different kitchen. It could, either way it goes, I'm not in my uh, previous uh, kitchen that I would normally do videos in, but this is gonna be the kitchen I'm in now, going forward, and there's this um, down light that um, needs to go. Because if I turn it off, then it's like, eh. But anyway, neither here nor there, I'm here to make a blueberry chocolate banana cake that's macro friendly i'm on a cut i don't like to cut out things that make me happy which are sweet things so i'm going to make this i normally make this with oat flour i either do the rolled oats or the quick cooking oats and i put it in the ninja i use a cup of it i put it in the ninja make flour and then i use that but i'm out of it so I'm using Armanath flour, and I'm also using, dun, 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 dun. Uh oh, where is it? <sighs> Tiger nut flour, all right. So I'm using a quarter cup of this with a half a cup of this, and that's it. So, because this has, because they're nuts. Like this is nut and this is a vegetable, so I'm going to play it safe. So I'm going to use a quarter cup, quarter, hey, what is this, what is this, 30 grams, let's measure everything, measure everything, because if you don't, how do you know this is a quarter cup, is it a packed quarter cup, or is it just a fluffy quarter cup, and now I'm going to use a quarter cup of almond ash flour, Amaranth, no, amaranth, amaranth flour. I'm saying it all wrong. I not like I'm the only one that's ever done that. <laughs> oh, let's put this at zero. And this is going to be 30 grams as well. Ooh, now this um, amaranth flour is very uh, bitter. So since it's bitter, I normally use about 50 grams of a banana, maybe 55 at the most. I'm using the whole damn thing, and I want it to be at least 100 grams, or 99, because that's what this goes up to. So as you can see, I'm measuring everything, because that's what you do, because if you don't, how do you know that you're getting the calories you need? You know what I'm saying? Now, I can either use the bananas that are going right, or I can use the bananas that are overripe. Since this Armanath, Armanath flour is a, a wee bit bitter, I'm using the darker banana, which is a wee bit sweeter, so I can uh, cut out some of that bitterness. All right, so that's 50. That's 75, 89, 109. Ooh, that's too much. 103, I want this to be exactly 99 because that's what I measured. 99, what? Now my hands are all jacked up. Now I have eggs here. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Hey. Don't forget to preheat that oven to 350 degrees, okay? All right, and don't forget your baking powder. I don't know if this is gonna make this rise or not, but I'm gonna put it in here anyway. And I'm gonna use a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. And I use Bob's Red Mill Aluminum Free Baking Powder. Uh, I normally use two eggs, but since this isn't a fluffy flour, I'm using three. I haven't used these two combinations of flowers together, so I wanna make sure that this rises and it sticks together. So I'm separating my egg in a separate container because I don't want any shells going into my banana mixture that I just measured. All right, so that's one egg white. And let me smash this. Let me see if I can get, get some going here. Smash this banana. Yes, I 
So that's one egg white, yeah? Uh oh, there's a shell. What? We gotta get that out. Oh, yolk's coming, yolk's coming, gotta go. Shell and a yolk was coming. Okay, got the shell. That's two. Ah. I'm just a hot mess right now, that's all right. Hot mess is getting ready to get a sweet tooth tickled. What? You guys have no idea, this is what I do. I live for concoctions like this. And this is all Hasina's made up concoction. This is my recipe. You know, I thought about doing a cookbook here and there. But I just am so bad with time management. I'm so bad with my time management. It is ridiculous. Now since I added more egg, I normally put two and a half ounces of almond milk. So I'm just gonna put one and three quarter. I don't want this runny. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I did too much. Ah, why? Why did I do that? Oh, Freaking frack. That's all right. I'm going to eat it anyway. <laughs> Whether it's solid or liquid, I'm going to eat it. Ooh, do you see that? Oh my gosh. I did arms today. Can you tell? All right, so that's in there. So what I'm going to do. I'm gonna use this ramekin to bake in. So I just wanna smooth, mix all this flour around with the baking powder. Oh, I forgot the stevia. I use Payeur. This is my stevia of choice. Oh, let's put it in here. Oh my gosh, I'm a hot mess. And the, just the little bit you threw out. Looks like you threw out more than that. Okay. So that was four teaspoons. Okay. Nice and gently. Now, oh, this is a good consistency. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. It's like muffin mix, pancake mix. Since I am the pancake girl, this was the base of my pancakes when I started using the oat flour. And I was like, okay, well I wanna make something like a, a cake, not just in a pan, like a pancake. I want a cake out of the oven. So that's when I decided to do this. So now I have my blueberries here. I'm gonna put 40 grams. Oh, I think it's 40. Or is it 45? No, it's 40. It's 40 grams of blueberries. These are frozen. And then, look at that, just look at that. These are Ghirardelli 60% cocoa, I'm sorry, cacao, bitter, bittersweet chocolate. So I think this is like 80 calories or 15 chips. And that's what I'm going to use. 12, 13. And that is actually 15 grams, so this is 8 gram per chip. And I think I'm done. I just need to spray my ramekin. And we are golden. Avocado oil, yeah. Just a little dab of do ya, yeah. I got everything in here, right? Right. Well, I hope this bakes up nice. Like I told you earlier when I started this little cooking tutorial that I have not used these two flour combinations together. So hopefully it'll be nice and firm, and if it's not, I'm gonna eat it anyway. Oh, oh. it'll be all right. With a serving of celery oil, nutraceuticals, protein, powder, and some water in a shake cup. Down this all down with. Oh, yes. Darling, it looks so lovely in the ramekin. I cannot wait to show you what it looks like after I pull it out of this 350 degree oven. Now, the cooking time. Ah, I want this, oh, I want all this, I want all of it, all of it. I'm being petty right now. That's what I do. That's what I do, girl. 
blend, especially when I make up things to cut my sweet tooth. Yeah. So, bam! This is what we looking like in my ramekin. I don't know. Can you see that? I don't know what you can see. Anyway. It's going into my oven. It is 8.22. I'm going to set the timer for 36 minutes. 36 minutes. We're golden. I'll be right back. And I am back. So... I just take this out of the oven I set the timer for 36 minutes and then I put it in for five more minutes and then about another three more minutes so I'm at about oh, 43 minutes 42 minutes and this ramekin I took it out it was um puffier than this I don't know if you can see that it was puffier than this there was a dome now it's going flat um, so I'm gonna let it rest and then I don't want to burn myself because I'm getting ready to stuff my face. Mm. So I'm going to finish eating my egg whites. I'm going to let this sit. And it's about 600 and some odd calories for this whole thing. And it's in my macros. My macros today are 16.55. That's important. But I noticed that with my fitness pal, like, I'll calculate my own macros manually. Calories and grams and carbs, calories and grams and fats, calories and grams of protein. However, when I put it into my fitness pal, it'll say I have this much and this much and this much left of fats, proteins, and carbs, and I'm already at my calorie intake. And my math is right. But when I do their math, it's wrong. So I'm not quite sure if it's just how we log in the food. The food gets logged in and there's like 0 0.8, 0 0.9 out of an actual whole number that is not being seen somewhere and it's adding it and maybe rounding it up so the calories are rounded up but when you look at the macros you you haven't hit it I, I, I just don't get it anyway neither here nor there I'm just rambling so I'll be back hey and we're back all right so it's 9 23 I have released it from the bottom this is what a looking lock right now I don't know if I of this so here's my face okay and here's this item oh about 620 some calories I'll go over the macros later I did taste some of it coming out that was left in here that's um armoranth flour is for savory items that's why I only put a quarter of a cup which is one serving in here it's hot. Can you see the steam coming off of that? I got a blueberry in there. Got the bananas in there. Or a banana. I have a few Ghirardelli semi-sweet chocolate chips in there. No, bittersweet chocolate chips in there. That's a 60%. I have some stevia. Yeah. I'm good down with this. That full banana that I put in here really helps cut some of that bitter taste um, along with that stevia. See you guys later. I'm going to make me a serving of chocolate whey protein isolates to go down this bad boy with. And I will see you guys on the next uh, recipe or workout. I don't know what's going to come. Something's coming. See ya. Okay, so I'm sitting here. I'm back. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Eating this. I wanted to show you. I have some almonds over here. I finished out my macros for the night. I wanted to show you what it looks like. Um, it's very dense. Unlike when I make it with the oat flour, it's fluffy. So, just so I will be also making this maybe later on down the line. Uh, maybe next week. I don't know. I don't really have this in my macros for next week, except for one day. And I'm making it a savory one. And I need to use that Armanath flour. I think I'm saying it wrong again. <laughs> um, because it, it expires um, in two months. And I bought it like, I don't know, beginning of last year. And I just 